I know it's like too good to be true, but today we will try to create a beautiful 3D toggle button that you can use to turn on or off something special. Imagine you want a button to turn on dark mode or light mode in your app or for controlling smart lights in your room using your home automation app that you have just built. It can be anything because you can create this button as a component once and use again and again in hundreds of projects. But you need to take action today if you want to build something. But what are these actions? We will go step by step to make it easy. Let's break this task into two main things. First is creating Next.js project and second is integrating React 3 Fiber to render our 3D toggle button. To create the project, write npx create next app space my 3D button and hit enter for all the default settings. Now after the project is created, just change directory cd space my 3D button and write npm install 3 at the red react dash 3 slash fiber like this and press enter and both of them should be installed. Let's go and verify inside the node modules fo folder react, react 3. Yes, and now just open the app folder and inside this app folder open the page.tsx file and delete all its content and start writing the code here. In this file, let's begin by creating a function toggle 3D button and in this function we will create state for our toggle button. Let's write use state and put it inside a constant is toggle. So when our toggled button is toggled, the new state is will be stored in is toggled variable and we will change the value of this variable means we will change the value of this state using set toggled and by default it will be false. Now we will create a function const toggle cylinder and inside this we will just put the set toggled we will call this function and invert it to is toggled means if it is true it will become false and if it's false it will become true and most important we will return we will return a div and inside it we will display the value of is toggled because we are using dynamic code and it should be uh, vis visible which should be uh, usable on on the on the client side we should put this use client at the top of this file to avoid this error and now let's try to run our oh there is some error again it says that you likely forgot to export your you likely forgot to export your component from the file it's defined in. Now let's export, export default, the, this is the default function, export toggle default 3D button. Let's take this as an app. Let's see, yes one more thing before we should delete all the styles from global.css and let's write it is toggled. Let's see if it is displayed, yes it's displaying. Now let's create our another function but before that let's define let's uh, let's display this uh, is toggled question mark toggle toggle on if this value is true it will show toggle on otherwise it will show toggle off now let's save it let's try it's working the toggle off is working now we we want something to change we want something to to trigger this function toggle cylinder let's create a button and on click we will run this function toggle cylinder you will see why we have written toggle cylinder later on because we will be using the cylinder as a switch to turn it right or left to create our toggle button like this one this will be our final cylinder but now let's just try to do it just test our button using toggle and save it. Now let's view it. Try to refresh and click toggle. Yes, it's working, but we need to change the styles here using BR. Uh, let's take it down here. One last thing is uh, remove all the CSS part and keep it empty. 
and now refresh we will see a button here because all the classes of CSS are reset but now we will create all these things into 3D for this we will create another class with or sorry a function function cylinder and then move this function toggle cylinder to be controlled by that cylinder okay so now we have already created the react tree fiber in this library so we will need to import a canvas otherwise just leave it as it is vs code will do it automatically i think let's see if it is it does automatically let's go and create our function first function cylinder and in this function we will return a mesh with position and set here any position you like 0 0 0 or x y z the first number is 0 is x second is y and third is z and inside this mesh we will create the geometry cylinder geometry to create our cylinder with arguments 1 dot 1 comma 1 and comma 0 0.5 which is radius and height and 32 is the number of segments now we ha have the cylinder and let's create a canvas to display the cylinder inside our div here let's create canvas camera we need a camera of course with position minus 2 4 and 5 and also end the canvas tag one add one more curly brackets to keep our position our canvas is ready with the camera position is also set and suspense there is a suspense callback we'll set it to null because in case the things are not loaded the fallback should be null it should display nothing basically now inside the suspense we will display cylinder that we just created and also click the quick face we or the vs code has already imported the suspense use state and canvas from the react 3 fiber and now we are ready to move ahead let's try to see if something is visible on our, our screen yes we can see a small cylinder but that is but the lighting and effects are not set yet we will go and make it more advanced now now let's set the cylinder position and move that position dynamically to move our cylinder right and left so let's set the default position for for now we can later on change the x value using that if it is toggled multiply by 2 so if it is true it will go right but i think this is not the right approach there will be some errors so let's just uh, for testing it needs integer uh, no we actually we shouldn't be doing like this just a quick fix no 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 i don't think it will work like this let's integer no 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 float no not a float value because actually we want to make it uh, move a slide a slide smoothly just just for now let's keep it with an with an integer and then in change it inside this function let's keep keep it to zero no problem and now move this position from here using we'll set the position here and now the mesh has the dynamic position and leave it as it is just there is also some issue i think here but there is no error right now we need to add the curly brackets here to pass the position also let's let's try to run it the cylinder is visible let's click toggle but the thing is cylinder is not yet dynamic we will add uh, something here to make it dynamic let's create if it's toggled is toggled if it's if is toggled slide to right and and now we will to uh, now and now we need to reference our mesh so we will declare a const mesh mesh ref is equal to use ref so this will be the reference for the mesh and update imports the mesh the use ref is also imported automatically we will modify the mesh ref dot current position means x position and set this position to some uh, plus is equal to just set it to 2 right now and just let's try to see and then else mesh ref current position to 1 let's save let's try to refresh the error is okay 
is toggle is not defined let's pass the is toggle to this function is toggle is equal to curly brackets is toggled and also put it here is toggled and save it let's refresh mesh ref current position x minus 2 so we have defined mesh ref but uh, the, there is some problem the mesh ref is not yet defined just put ref is equal to and in curly brackets write mesh ref mesh ref and save it again and try to run it still there is some error it's not able to read the position everything is correct but let's see where the problem is let's create use frame and put all these things inside the inside inside the animation frame and get a clock variable from it and now put all this if function inside this for the use frame update the imports yes now use we have imported it let's save it and refresh click toggle and click toggle now it's moving but not the way we want to move it smoothly for this we will use another constant here which is const which is max slider or slide distance you can put any name const is equal to slide distance const slide distance is equal to 1 and now here put the slide distance not like this but slide distance and here also minus of slide distance which is in x negative direction secondly we will need also need a constant for the slide speed let's write slide speed is equal to 5 and we will change the position based on the slide speed and it shouldn't matter about the frame rate that's why we will write 60 here just make a copy of this one here and make it and use the math max sorry math minimum function and inside it put the slide distance copy it from here put it here and comma and here right I put the slide inside the inside the function just remove the extra okay just we have to do the same thing for the slide left but with minus this is for incrementing it to the right it will slowly move it right and now we will just copy it and paste it here and slide to left left and here just minus so to move it to opposite direction and here also minus and just one more thing that there should be math max here okay and save it let's test it now now click toggle now it's moving smoothly right and left let's change the color to blue to make it look attractive and also add the base plate under the toggle button so to do this we will use color is equal to blue let's refresh no 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 no. i think there is some issue refresh no the still the color blue is not getting updated actually we need to create a uh, another material i think yes create mesh we can select any material which we want to create there are various materials in this library list let's take this one and set it to blue and remove this yes now let's see refresh yes it's we just need the lighting because it's in the dark we will add some lighting inside our canvas let's try to put ambient light ambient light means the light from all direction environment light whole whole 3d world light this is and let's set its intensity and position and just try to refresh now there is a light and the blue is visible but we need some shading so add add one more light which is directional light and we need to adjust the value of this according to our requirements directional light or directional light and now i think the intensity of the ambient light is too much let's set it to 1 or just 0 0.5 yes now we have a little bit of shade here now it, it looks a little realistic decrease the intensity of the direction light to 0 0.5 but it's getting very dark now let's just set it to 1 and refresh okay this is good but still it's dark let's do one thing make it 2 and refresh yes now it's looking much better but one more thing that remains is adding the base plate so this toggle button will be on the top let's create a new file javascript 
and save it as extruded rounded rectangle extruded rounded rect dot js now paste the extruded geometry here and just add the extruded rounded rect just add the width height radius and thickness now we have added the values let's close it now let's see there is a problem <laughs> it looks really unrealistic really unrealistic <laughs> but it's working our toggle button is working it also looks cool but we wanted to make it rotated let's rotate the cylinder let's add it here for the mesh rotation rotation and x axis we will use mathpy math.py which is javascript's inbuilt function divide by 2 for 90 degree comma 0 comma 0 which uh, y and z we will do it for x axis now it's working automatically now we want to just make it or an interactive that it should work on click rather than clicking on this button we should it should be working by clicking on the cylinder so just take the on click function from the button here and copy it and now set it to the mesh so you should learn the art of copying pasting because it's very important just put it here just click the quick fix there is some issues here toggle cylinder here and take the toggle, toggle cylinder here also so now the, this cylinder will pass the toggle cylinder function to the cylinder function and let's check if it's working yes now it's working like we expected now it's moving on and off when we click the cylinder but when we click this base plate it doesn't move so if you want that uh, it should move by clicking on the base plate also you can do it by just adding the on click to extruded rect here inside its mesh on click so toggle cylinder is equal to toggle cylinder just pass the function here oh, oh there is some error here toggle cylinder is not defined oh we need to pass the toggle cylinder it from here actually yes actually we don't need to pass it here we just need to add the on click function here take the on click function from the button here and paste it here Le no still there is some error actually toggle cylinder is not defined uh, yes uh, it's here copy it and paste it here now we have the toggle cylinder inside the base plate also so the work the cylinder is working now the toggle button is working now but if we don't need this button here we can remove the button this one okay and save yes now the button is gone and we have the 3d toggle button here let's remove this one also if you want here there is fast refresh enabled here so you don't need to refresh it's getting refreshed automatically you just have to change the code and save it and it's just going to refresh automatically thanks for watching this video stay tuned for more react development tutorials